Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can format the Gantt chart and the table part of this view, how you can get this entry bar on the screen, how you can get this view bar on the screen, and how you can set new tasks to be auto-scheduled automatically. So first of all, the Gantt chart itself and formatting it. So you've got a tab at the top there that says Gantt chart format. And on the left hand side, you've got text styles and grid lines. So text styles is something that's quite useful if you want this, this side to be colored in because you've got some preset options. So if I drop this little arrow down at the top, you've got, for example, critical tasks is quite a useful one. If I want critical tasks to be highlighted red, like they would be on the Gantt chart, if I just select red from color, so color that's the text I don't want the text to be that color I should leave that on black and then the background red like so and then I'll click OK all four of those tasks are highlighted red if I go review and say that's a two-day task that won't be red because it's not critical because that can happen any time throughout this period now if you go to the tick box on the for this part of the Gantt chart and tick that they will also show red. Now I'm going to reduce the duration on this so it's not so far ahead. And then like so, so it all comes back into sight. So you can see that there and I can move this in the middle anywhere around there. It will still maintain blue because it's not critical. So that's critical task set in this side. Now if I go back in there and just get rid of that for a second. I think that's a better option to do than physically manually color things in Click OK to that because you can obviously highlight tasks and color them in you know you can just go and set whatever color you want but this is manual and it's not representative of anything specific whereas if you go through the Gantt chart options that is whatever you select is that type of task so you've got different options milestones, summary tasks, etc, etc. So that's the way to do it. And then the actual colour scheme means something because I've seen lots of project plans where they've done this. I'll just do undo to get rid of that. And I, I say to people, well, if you've done that, you need to have some sort of key for people so they know what colours mean. Otherwise, it's pointless. Now, to format the, the Gantt chart with lines and this side with lines, you need to go into where it says grid lines and select grid lines. And then you've got lots of options here. So Gantt chart rows. Let's go for that one first. Let's do a straight line and red just so it stands out. Click OK. Does that. Now if I go back in there, next one down, you've got bar rows. I'll do the same. Straight red. And then I'll go into grid lines again. Middle tier column. Sheet columns. Let's go for that one. Colour red and then let's go for some more so it's basically just selecting these items you've got current date you can have that highlighted a different color so the current date is and the minute it's highlighted in green you can change that to be something else that's the current date line there already on there so sheet columns I've done that one um, where else what let's go for middle tier column let's put that in red Okay, we're getting a bit mad now, so it's starting to look a bit cluttered, but some people like it gridded off like this. Bottom tier column, let's have that one. So this will be for the, the days, so middle tier is that one, bottom tier is this one. So this is going to go minute little squares like that, a bit like graph paper, which I quite like that actually, to be honest. It's uh, easy to sort of follow things across. So that's how you can format this this view if it's not too intrusive by looking at that on this now to get this entry bar on the screen which is great because if i want to put reviews an s on there i can press the f2 function key and it'll get me in there but if you don't know that you, you might be tempted to double click and when you double click it's going to open up task information and then you can do it in there which is a bit annoying but with the entry bar on there it's a bit like Excel, you can just click up there, put the S on it, click the tick, and then it's 
job done. So I quite like that being up there like that. Now to get this, I'll show you where that is in a second. To get this to appear, it's basically if you just right click and tick the view bar on, I'll just take it off because that's what you would normally be looking at. If I then just right click there and go view bar on, that shows you the recent views. So you've got some static views, but if you keep changing the view or adding other views, if you go to the, the view tab and then more views, more views. So if, if I say I want a detailed Gantt apply, so it's got rid of all that. That now sits in there with all the rest of it. So that's a normal Gantt and then there's a detailed Gantt and that stays there and becomes part of this list. Now to get the entry bar on and also change the default settings so that everything is auto scheduled, you need to go into options. So let's do that now. We're going to file options. And first of all, display entry bar put the tick on there that's not normally on and then if you go to scheduling you've got new task created and then you want auto scheduled and you want it selecting all new projects so all new projects want to be on auto scheduled and that's how you do it and you click OK to that and then everything will be auto scheduled unless you physically change it to be manual yourself which I'm not going to do so that was a very, very quick video of how to do some basic formatting on the Gantt chart and how to get the entry bar on the screen and the view bar and change the default setting for task types to auto-scheduled. So hopefully that was of use to you. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one.